Amen. Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Let us pray. Our most gracious and loving Father, the blessed and wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. What a blessed morning, Father. Lord, to be in your presence with an assurance, Lord, that, Father, we are partakers of the riches of God's grace. That, Father, above everything, we have got peace with you, Lord. We have got access by one spirit unto the Father. Lord, the enmity that was there in the time past is no longer there, Lord. Anything, any handwriting of ordinance that was against us, Father, the Bible tells us you nailed it on the cross. And today, Father, as we come in your presence, Lord, we are not coming as servants. We are not coming as slaves. But we are coming, Lord, as members of the body of Christ. People whom the Holy Spirit is living and abiding in them, Father. People that are at the temple of the Holy Spirit. And we pray this precious morning, let that assurance, let that consciousness rest upon our minds. And above everything, Lord, give us peace, give us rest. From all our struggles, from all our cares, to know, Father, you, nothing can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. This blessed morning, Father, we appreciate you for your grace. We appreciate you, Father, for your love. We appreciate you for your protection. Father, to see one another is not something we take for granted. But, Father, we know you have, it has taken your mighty hand to bring us together, Lord Jesus. And, Father, we pray that the Spirit of Father flow in our hearts, Lord Jesus. May there be a release of Father, prove me your divine presence this blessed morning, Lord God. Speak to us, Lord Jesus. Anoint us, Lord God. Speak to our fears, Lord Jesus. Establish us upon your word. Because, Father, all other things will pass away. But your word, Father. Because it has been exalted above your own name, Lord God. This word, Father, cannot be changed. You are bound by your word, Lord Jesus. And we believe this precious morning. Even as you partake of this word, Lord Jesus, you are bound to perform according to your word, Lord Jesus. We appreciate you for our pastor. We appreciate you for entire members of Ella, Lord Jesus. Them that are here present, them that will listen to this online, them that are streaming with us online, bless them as well, Lord Jesus. Let your grace be upon them. We thank you, we honor you. For it is in Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen, amen. God bless you. Clap for yourselves. Clap for our singers. Praise be to God. Pastor and Mama Shalom. Happy 30th anniversary. It has been a journey, but we thank God to give us a leader, give us a father who has stood the test of time. This precious morning, I want to welcome you in the precious and wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ to the service of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And I believe God has been gracious. God has been merciful to you people. Because I'm seeing your faces shining. Amen. Just turn around. Greet your brother. Greet your sister. Yeah. Salamia ndugu yako. Salamia dada yako. Yeah. Be nice to your brother. Be nice to your sister. It's not easy. The world is rough out there. Let them feel the warmth. Let them, let them feel the love. Hallelujah. And welcome them that have been away for a while. Salem. Welcome. Josiah. Welcome. John. Welcome. Praise be to God. Sister Marian, it has been a while. Welcome all of you. I welcome you in the precious and wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today, I believe by the grace of God, I'm not going to be long-winded. Hallelujah. and it is a good norm, a good custom. When you come to church, find out the week Praise be to God. Amen. On that breath, I want to call your attention to the book of Romans. Romans 
si mahali pa kutoka sasa hii and uh, mzee kuna mambo aliamsha i'm just here there praise be to god wangapi wamebarikiwa for the last 3 sundays amen haleluya and uh, romans is a rich book kama kuna kitabu ningependa hata kurarua tu nitoke nayo kwa episodes of paul mimi natoka na romans praise be to god i don't know about you but if it is romans if i was given the privilege romans mimi nararua na mimi naenda nayo praise be to god because romans is such a rich book is a book that tells you who you are it is a book that walks with you from your sinful nature until god loves at you haleluya it is such a privilege that god has given us this concept of rightly dividing the word of truth and it has helped us a good deal so romans 5 i am talking about god's riches of grace it is so unfortunate our wednesday's meetings went but uh, those who are there we had begin a series on god's riches of grace hallelujah and we only looked at uh, peace with god hallelujah praise be to god but this precious morning i want to look at glory in tribulation as god's riches of grace sindio yeah glory in tribulation <laughs> it is one of the riches of god's grace praise be to god think about it some people were told to endure but paul tells you glory <laughs> praise be to god to a jew he has been told endure but to you as the member of the body of christ paul tells you glory in tribulation praise be to god Amen. romans 5 therefore being justified by faith we are peace with god through our lord jesus christ by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of god hallelujah was three that is where we are not only so <laughs> after paul has highlighted all the riches of god's grace he says not only that but also not only so but we glory in tribulations also amen. praise be to god can i hear an amen, amen. glory in tribula- tribulations hallelujah knowing that tribulation worketh patience and patience experience and experience hope and hope maketh not ashamed because the love of god is shed abroad in our hearts by the holy ghost which is given unto us you may enjoy the comforts of your seats praise be to god and uh, i just want to make this statement at the beginning that i said a statement if it was given a chance to take away a certain episode take away <laughs> romans praise be to god why because from romans chapter 1 to romans chapter 4 Paul is talking about justification. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. From Romans 5 all the way to 8, Paul is talking about sanctification. You have been set apart. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. So if you want to understand about justification, pray. Hallelujah. From Romans chapter 1 to Romans chapter 4, Paul is talking about justification. Praise be to God. If you want to understand what justification means, go to Romans chapter 1 to Romans chapter 4 you will understand what it means to be justified praise be to god how god came and died for a sinner how he paid for your sins praise be to god how when he died after he rose you been justified praise be to god the fact that jesus christ was resurrected i want to tell you you stand justified in the presence of god praise be to god because the sin question has been settled because he could not have resurrected if there is something you still oh god praise be to god Amen. hallelujah Amen. i want us to approach god in from a position of understanding praise be to god from a position of awareness that god has got nothing against you praise be to god Amen. the fact that he arose imagine when you go to the presence of god you are not going there as a sinner <laughs> praise be to god Amen. you are going there because he arose and you have been justified praise be to god So Romans 1 to Romans chapter 4 talking about justification. That is why Paul is traveling with this man from Romans 1. People because look at the description of people in Romans 1. <laughs> Praise be to God. From verse 18 all the way people when they knew God could not retain God in their mind. God gave them over. Hallelujah. 
And not only that, when you follow that trend, God will give them up. Praise be to God. Amen. People that God gives up to who? To Satan. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. And those who are Jew in your time past, praise be to God. Amen. When you come to Romans 2, the Jews are guilty. Praise be to God. Romans 3, the entire world, not only people, but people under the entire world, all of them are guilty before God. And no one is seeking after God. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But now at the end of chapter 4, Paul starts to talk about he rose for your justification. After your sin has been paid, praise be to God. Amen. After the sin question has been settled, then he died and rose for your justification. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. From chapter 5 now all the way to 8, when he talks about what can separate you from the love of God, Paul is talking about people who have been sanctified. People have been set aside for service. Praise be to God. That these people, nothing can separate them from the love of God. It's not your love because you have none. Praise be to God. Amen. It is the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. Praise be to God. Amen. It is the love of God in your life that is at stake. Praise be to God. When something comes your way, it is the love of God that is at stake. And you know the love of God cannot be questioned. Praise be to God. And Paul tells us, nothing can separate you from the love of God. That is in Christ Jesus. Praise be to God. Amen. When he reaches Romans 9, hallelujah, Amen. Paul goes to the Jews and he starts to outline how the covenants, all the, those things that pertain to Jews, praise be to God. All the way to Romans 11, hallelujah. He tells how Romans, in Romans 11 how they were blinded, hallelujah. Praise be to God. How they stumbled, praise be to God. So that all of them, God has counted them in condemnation to show mercy to all, praise be to God. Amen. And then in Romans 12, Paul gives you now the instructions. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. But we are in Romans 5 this precious morning. One of God's riches of grace talking about glorying in tribulation. Praise be to God. Amen. And I want, I'm beginning with the definition of the word to glory. What does it mean to glory? It is to brag or to boast. Praise be to God. Can you imagine you bragging and boasting in tribulations? Praise be to God. But we will see there are things you have to understand for you to glory in tribulation. <laughs> Praise be to God. Amen. Because if you don't understand those things, you will go mourning. You will go complaining. Praise be to God. But that is not our language. You will, you will come to a place you want to endure like a Jew. Praise be to God. But God has not, Paul has not told us to endure. That is not our language. Our language is to glory. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Can I hear an amen? amen? That you are supposed to glory, not to endure. Because to glory and to endure, those are different audiences. Those are two different gospels. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. So to glory is to boast. To glory is to brag. Ben, how about you bragging? When things have come, Mambo Michemuka, you are bragging. Praise be to God. Amen. Why? Because you understand it is not you. Amen. It is the life of God. It is the love of God that is in your life. Praise be to God. There are things you've understood about the love of God. There are things you've understood about the grace of God. Praise be to God. That you are justified. You have got peace with God. Hallelujah. That you have got eternal life. No matter what comes, you are just giving God all the praise. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. And tribulation means pain of pressure. Okay? Pain of pressure. Hallelujah. The last time when pastor was sharing with us, the, the degrees at the where? Eh? The degrees. Can I, can I get from the faithful students? What was the title? Eh? Bona mnaongea mukimama. Pastor, look at this. Oh no. Oh no. I'm not done yet. Haruta wapea keki. Keki ya muda vada. Praise be to God. That degrees of glory. Glory. Look at the things Paul suffered for the sake of the gospel, for the sake of the churches. But this man was glory. Why? Because there are things Paul understood. And I want to tell you, you as a member of the body of Christ, when, those, when that pressure comes, you are supposed to glory. You are not supposed to walk with a gloomy face. No, 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 no. Paul, Paul gloried in his tribulation. Praise be to God. He endured. He, was, he had pain. His body never received rest. But this man preached the gospel. Praise be to God. Amen. And remember when God met him on his road to Damascus, he told him, for the things he is supposed to do what? Suffer. To suffer. Praise be to God. Amen. So if I tell you when you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, 
it is going to be honeymoon I'm lying to you no is very good this is a great sorrow about it senior so, it is responsibility praise be to god Amen. it is work it is commitment praise be to god Amen. so prayer tribulation is pain or pressure hallelujah Amen. it is distress it is opposition when they come you glory praise be to god Amen. not you shrink to your corner and say now look at what they are saying about me no but Paul is telling us glory in tribulation it is one of god's riches of grace hallelujah Amen. praise be to god because it is one thing for you what sets you as a, a part as a member of the body of Christ. Let me go ahead of myself. What says you are part? What says you are part as the member of the body of Christ is the fact that there are things you understand God has done on your behalf. Praise be to God. There are things you believe that salvation is not something that is at stake. It's not something that somebody can question. A situation can, can question. Praise be to God. That you are standing before God is something that is forever settled. Hallelujah. But your state can vary. Praise be to God. When I'm talking about tribulation, I'm talking about you being in that state when something comes. Where today you are on the mountain, tomorrow you are in the valley. I'm talking about when you are in the valley, please may you glory in your tribulations. Hallelujah. Amen. But as far as God is concerned, you are standing before him. It is something that cannot be questioned. Hallelujah. Amen. This is not something that can be taken away. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. It's something that is secure. And for it is one thing for you to glory. Something that for you to understand what God has done for you. That God has justified you. That God has, praise be to God, that God has sanctified you, praise be to God. Because it is his work. Sanctification is God's work, praise be to God. The justification, it is his work. But do you believe in what God has done for you? Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Ask your neighbor, do you believe in what God has done for you? Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. You know, you can be talk, preaching to people who don't believe, but they are just sitting there looking at you. Praise be to God. But Paul wants you to believe that this is what God has done for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Because you see the nature of man, when tribulation comes, when trouble comes, the nature of man is to run away from trouble. Praise be to God. To change the course of the things that you are doing. But that is not Paul taught to us. Praise be to God. Amen. Paul could have changed his message. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Imagine Paul bringing the gospel of the grace of God. And look at the opposition. But did he change? No. But he went on praise be to God. Because the vision was clear before him. He knew what God had mandated him to do. Praise be to God. And I want to tell you when the vision is clear before you. It doesn't matter the upheavals. It doesn't matter if you suffer shipwreck. Praise be to God. If you suffer beatings. You will still hold on. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Am I talking to people who are determined? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Asante. Pressing of grapes is called tribulation. Do you a juice? Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Tribulations. Yes. Literally. One. One. One no? yeah. To press as grapes. Press hard upon. Praise be to God. Amen. A compressed way. Narrow, straightened, contracted. Praise be to God. Amen. To press as grapes. To bring out something. Yeah. Praise be to God. And I want to tell you, whatever God has already pressed, blessed in you, it won't come out easily. Amen. That is what I'm talking about this precious morning. Amen. There is a seed in you. And it has to die. You have to die. This outer man has to die. So that whatever God placed in you to come forth. Hallelujah. Amen. So Paul is saying, <laughs> tribulation, grapes, you know, for you to enjoy. <laughs> it's like I have glory in the pressing of the grapes. Yes. Praise be to God. Amen. That's all of us who have got grapes. <laughs> the English teacher. Is that English? Or is that language? Is a language yes. that in you you have got grapes, yes. and tribulation is the process of pressing the grapes. Amen. Grapes in a producing in wine. wine. Yeah. Not juice. Not juice. Wine. When you talk about the Lord's table, <laughs> how to tell you wine in a talk and river? Tribulation is what brings out wine. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. So when you talk about 
you serving God cheerfully. You serving God with a clear conscience. A vision is clear before you. You have to understand. This process, all of us, we have to go through it. But how are you going through it? Are you rejoicing or are you gloomy? Are you enduring or are you glorying? Praise be to God. We have come to understand there are two ones for two kinds, to, to, for two manner of people. Other people have been told tribulation, to endure. But you, uh, let me be clear. We are not talking about the seven year tribulation, prophet, prophetic seven year of tribulation. No. We are talking about the tribulation that comes to the body of Christ. Praise be to God. Amen. Yeah. 14. Yes. Matthew 24. Let us just need to make everything clear. Matthew 24, 14. Hallelujah. 24, 13. Yeah, it is here. Yeah. But he is that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Praise be to God. So who was speaking? Jesus to the Jews. So someone should not come and tell you, please endure to the end. Jesus is telling them to endure. If the one that will endure to the end, the same shall be saved. If I tell you to endure to the end, I'll be doing you a great disservice. Praise be to God. But I'm talking to people who glory in tribulation. People who are People, when they are being pressed, they know in me there are grapes. Amen. And this grapes has to produce why. Hallelujah. Amen. I want you to, at the end of the service today, you look at your trials differently. Amen. That's right. <laughs> well, I, Amen. Amen. I want you to look at your challenges differently. Amen. Because you have to understand, it is God pressing for that I can produce why. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It is God pressing you so that that why. When what we make our commence, mensa ya bwana. When you sip that one, you have to understand there was a process. <laughs> Praise be to God. Then yeah. how how do you relate on the table when you realize now we are partaking of this thing? But you know the process. Praise be to God. Today we are enjoying the gospel of the grace of God. Do we understand the process upon which it came to us? Praise be to God. Amen. Paul believed even after he never even it was not all over. I hear the same Paul that was preaching, the man was put in a basket and was rescued through a window. That is how the gospel of the grace of God came to you people. A man that was put, escaped, that he was placed in a basket and put through a window to escape because the city had been besieged. He was to be arrested. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. So when you are sitting there, realize in you, you have got graves. And God has to bring that wine from it. Hallelujah. Yeah. So you are being pressed so that that, that wine can come forth. Hallelujah. Amen. And Paul, when he talks about you a glory in tribulation, you are not doing it in vain. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So you have to understand that when you are talking about glory in tribulation, we are talking about a process. Hallelujah. Yeah. Paul talks about you have got this hidden treasure in an earthen vessel. Do you know how the earthen vessel is made? Do you know the process? The pot. The pot. Nyungu. Nyungu ya kawaida. Ben. Nyungu ya kawaida. Do you know the process? A certain kind of clay has to be sought. Not just every clay. And that clay when it has been sought, it has to come. And it has to be beaten, removing large stones. Sticks. Bottle pieces. Hallelujah. Glasses has to be removed. Because if it is molded with, with those stones, when it is subjected to fire, that will be the weakest point and it will break. Hallelujah. So you have to understand you are special clay. Hallelujah. And one time you are being molded. You are being shaped. Hallelujah. Stones are being removed. Sticks are being removed. Because something, roots are being removed. Because God in his image, he has got, in his mind, he has got a certain picture. A certain vessel that has to come forth. When it stands before him, he has to smite it to speak. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Remember our Egypt? Hallelujah. Glory to God. He knows where we are. Praise be to God. So, God has got this image in his mind. And when you are being turned from one veil to another, sticks are being removed. Roots are being removed. Roots of bitterness. Praise be to God. Because I want to tell you that vessel, it has, roots have to be taken away. Glass pieces or bottles of glasses have to be taken away. Stones are not part of the vessel. But they are supposed to be discarded. Hallelujah. Amen. So that, and before even it's subjected to fire, it has to be placed under a shade for seasoning. <laughs> Praise be to God. Ben. 
A whole process. Hallelujah. Amen. It has to be placed under a shed for seasoning. After it has dried up, firewood has to be searched. And it has not to be wet fire, but dried firewood. Praise be to God. Amen. And it has to be burned properly until it is red hot. And then they look for another tree, they boil. So the, the, the sap from another tree, when they pour it on that pot, it is what gives the, the shape, the image, the, 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 the mawa you see on that pot. Praise be to God. Amen. And I want to tell you, that is when God is presenting a vessel before you, he's talking about your salvation or your redemption. Praise be to God. Amen. That God was talking about how he took you from your place until the place that he ordained for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. So are we in agreement that when you talk about glory in tribulation, it is something you understand that there are things you have to understand about the gospel of the grace of God for you to glory in tribulation. Praise be to God. Amen. Otherwise, if you don't understand what God has done for you, you will walk a bitter Christian. Praise be to God. Amen. Someone that is defeated, someone that is looking for God to solve almost all his troubles and trials. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But when you understand what God means by glorying in tribulation, what God has done for you, that God has given you peace. First of all, there is peace between you and God. Amen. First of all, you have got eternal life with him. Amen. That God has forgiven you all your sins. Praise be to God. That he arose for your justification. That there is nothing that can hinder you. There is nothing that can take you, separate you from the love of God. Even when trials come, I want to tell you that is the man that will look trials in their face and glory in them. Praise be to God. Otherwise, if you don't understand, you think you will endure to the end, I want to tell you, you will be the most miserable person. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. So, and we want to look at certain scriptures that suppose Romans 5, where we've been looking at. Praise be to God. Amen. My first scripture is in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 4. Praise be to God. Nikimalisa yo kulei background to fly. Now before to fly, in 45 minutes to my land and Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Yeah, Second Corinthians. You see, we will do a lot of reference in Second Corinthians because Second Corinthians, that is where Paul endured a great deal. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Amen. Second Corinthians is where Paul endured a great deal. And let me make this point clear. That in our, in our quest for dividing, you have to be very careful of the things other people are saying. Hallelujah. That when someone tells you in Corinthians that Paul had no full revelation, flee away from that man. Because Paul, there are things Paul has outlined in the book of Corinthians. They are nowhere else. Praise be to God. Because in, it is in Corinthians where nine spiritual gifts Paul speaks to us for the first time. He revealed them for the first time. Nine spiritual gifts of the Spirit. Because it is in in, in the Corinthians where he said he went to the third heaven. Amen. Something that you can't find any other place. So for you to tell me that was not fully revealed, that revelation was still progressive, and yet a man goes to the third heaven, please do me a service. Leave me alone. Praise be to God. Second Corinthians 1 4. Hallelujah. 1 4. Blessed, Pastor, blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Father of mercies and the God of all comfort. Verse 4. Who comforted us in all our tribulations? <laughs> Praise be to God. So when you are in the process of being pressed, so that the, the, the wine can come out, it is God who does what? Comforts you. Praise be to God. Amen. Who comforted us in all our tribulations, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble. Praise be to God. Amen. In any trouble, by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. <laughs> Praise be to God. Amen. Do you see the danger of going to seek for comfort from someone that has not been comforted? <laughs> but the Bible is saying, listen, who comforted us in all our tribulations, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble. Hallelujah. By the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. So first of all, God has, you have to understand that God has comforted that person you are seeking your comfort from. 
NLV. He comforts us yes. in all our troubles. Yes. So that we can comfort others. Amen. When they are troubled, Amen. we will be able to give them Amen. the same comfort God has given us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That you will be able to give Amen. Your, your brother, your sister, the same comfort that God has given you. Amen. So you should have to be very careful. Where am I going to seek my comfort? Is that individual, is that brother, is that sister comforted, ready? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You see the danger of just going to any other man, any other woman, praise be to God. Amen. You will come out of that place the most miserable man. Because he's not yet comforted. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Then we have now to rightly divide. This is what Paul is telling us. You have to rightly divide. Is that minister comforted by himself? Before I go, before I engage him, is he comforted? So that I'm going to seek my comfort from him. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This is Romans 5 in operation. Hallelujah. Amen. For as the suffering of Christ abounds abound, abound in us. So our consolation also abounded by Christ. For the more we suffer for Christ. Yes. The more God will shower us with his comfort from Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Look at those scriptures. Paul is telling us that we seek for comfort. From them that have already been comforted. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Second Corinthians 7 from verse 4 to 6. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Amen. From verse 4 to 6. Second Corinthians 7. From verse 4. Here it is. Great is my boldness of speech towards you. Great is my glory of you. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm filled with the comfort. I am exceeding joyful in all our tribulation. Paul is exceeding joyful. Praise be NLD. Yeah. <laughs> NLD says this. I have the highest confidence in you. And I take great pride in you. You have greatly encouraged me and made me happy despite all our troubles. Despite all your troubles, Amen. someone has to make you happy. Amen. Paul and the Paul is saying, Hallelujah. Amen. Made, me, made me happy despite all our troubles. When we arrived in Macedonia, there was no rest for us. We faced conflict from every direction with the battles on, on the outside and fear on the inside. Oh ben, how did you think of it? Battles outside, fear is inside. That is Paul. That is how the gospel came to you people. Battles outside and fears where inside. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. But God who encourages those who are discouraged, Amen. encourage us by the arrival of Titus. Amen. <laughs> Praise be to God. Amen. But God who does what? Who encourages those who are discouraged? Amen. So it is God who does what? Encourages those that are discouraged. Praise be to God. Amen. Are you seeking for encouragement from things of the world? But the Bible tells us, God encourages those that are discouraged. Praise be to God. Amen. Because God knows in you, there are graves. And God has to partake of that wine. Praise be to God. Amen. And I want to tell you, it has to take pressure. His presence was a joy. But so was the news he brought of the encouragement he received from you. When he told us how much you long to see me. And how sorry you are for what happened. And how loyal you are to me. I was filled with the joy. Praise be to God. Amen. How many people are looking for the coming of Titus? Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Titus was as an encouragement to Paul. Praise be to God. Amen. Can you look for your Titus in your life? Someone that comes in your presence and you feel encouraged. You feel that I can go on one step higher. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. Amen. May we look for Titus in our lives. Amen. Someone that come and come in your presence and the atmosphere changes. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. We don't want miserable comforters. Remember the prince of Job? That is not what we are talking about. But we are talking about people who know. People when we, they come in your presence. Imagine the environment changes. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. And God does what? God encourages those that are discouraged. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Yeah. Look at 2nd 1st Thessalonians. 
Praise be to God. First Thessalonians 3. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Amen. Just give Jesus a hand clap. First Thessalonians 3. First Thessalonians 3 verse 3. Praise be to God. But let me begin with verse 1. Wherefore, when we could when we could no longer forbear, we we thought it good to be left at Athens alone. And Saint Timotheus, our brother and minister of God, and our our brother and minister of God and our fellow laborer, laborer in the gospel of Christ to establish you and to comfort you concerning your faith. Praise be to God. Amen. That no man should be moved by these afflictions. Praise be to God. Amen. That no man should be moved by these afflictions. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Joseph, the Bible is saying that no man should be moved by these afflictions. Amen. It goes to show the afflictions that will come your way. Amen. But Paul is telling us no one should be moved by them. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. No one should be moved by these afflictions. For yourselves know that we are appointed there unto. <laughs> So you have been afflicted under afflictions? It, no, it's, we are destined for such Yes, destined. destined. That afflictions is your destiny. They will come your way. Praise be to God. Yeah. So I not come here and preach prosperity gospel. Trying to take away the process of bringing out wine. Right. Praise be to God. Yeah. Giving you false hope. Right. Praise be to God. Yeah. Rachel was told, this one will also bring out this child. Praise be to God. Amen. Even at the point of death, Hata Uyutasa. Praise be to God. Amen. We are not miserable comforters, but we want people will tell us, this, you see this, we were destined. It was destined to come. Praise be to God. Amen. That we should not be moved by these afflictions. It is just a process. Hallelujah. Amen. It was just what? A process. Hallelujah. Amen. It is just a process to draw us to that place where we by. That at the end of it, when we sit at the table, supping the wine, when we remember the process. Hallelujah. Amen. We just give all the glory and honor. Praise be to God. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. So we have to understand these afflictions are not just coming because you are a sinner. No. 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 You see the danger is sometimes someone, a wrong comforter, someone that has not been comforted will tell you these things are coming because you are a sinner. Build that. Build that. So they told Job, you are a secret sinner. Praise be to God. Amen. But remember at the end, they were told God came down very rough because they never represented him well. Praise be to God. Amen. And God told them to go so that Job can pray for them. Praise be to God. Amen. So you have to be a good comforter. But before you become a comforter, God has to comfort you. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Because the danger is, Ben, you can go seeking comfort from Godfrey. Yet Godfrey is not comforted. So you see the mess. At the end of it, you come out of there more discouraged. Praise be to God. Amen. We want people, we want when Elihu comes. Praise be to God. Amen. When Elihu drops in your environment, he changes your environment. Praise be to God. Amen. He represents God. Praise be to God. We want people will come in your situation and represent God. Hallelujah. Amen. Not tell you how sinful you are. Because your sin, God has already paid for it. Amen. He arose for your justification. Praise be to God. We don't want people that will tell you, you see this is happening because you remember. Remember the chicken? I have got no chicken to remember. The Bible tells me, he has forgiven me all. Not some. Praise be to God. Ben, all. Not some. Do you mean, do you understand the meaning of the word all? Do you mean that, do you understand the meaning that when he arose, he arose for my justification. Praise be to God. Amen. God wants us to relate to him from that standpoint, from that Amen. kind of understanding that God, I have been forgiven. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. You have got nothing against me. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. That God, there is peace between me and you. Praise be to God. Amen. That when you go him in prayer, whatever situation comes before you, that you are not going from a place of a disadvantage. No, but you are going from a place of understanding. That God, despite my state, despite my smoky atmosphere, God, I know you've forgiven me. God, I know I am your child. Praise be to God. God, I know that the Holy Spirit dwelleth in me, that I am the temple of the Holy Spirit. Praise be to God. That I've been forgiven. I have got nothing. God has got nothing against
against me. Praise be to God. Amen. That I have got this grace wherein I stand. Amen. Praise be to God. God has given you his standing. Praise be to God. Amen. And that is what is before God. So the other things we are just trying to move to align our state and our standing. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. So know that we have been destined for affliction. They will come. But they don't make us lesser Christians. They don't bring out that we are sinners. No. But it's just God molding us and shaping us. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to tell you salvation minus these things. I want to tell you we live, it will become more. It's not even an appetizing. But Praise be to God. Praise be to God. So you have to understand that when Paul talks about glorying in tribulation, it is one of God's riches of grace. Praise be to God. Because many times we want to avoid tribulations. We want to run away from them. But Paul is telling us, why don't you glory in these things? Because you are approaching them from a place you understand. God is not that I'm a sinner, but I've been saved. Praise be to God. Amen. That God has been justified. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. That God, nothing can separate me from your love that was in Christ. It is the love of God that is at stake. It is what The love of God is what is being challenged because you and I, we don't have any love. It is his love. Praise be to God. Amen. That is being challenged. And Paul tells us, the Holy Spirit allows Paul to write it down. Tell us that nothing can separate you. Praise be to God. That whatever tribulation you are thinking about cannot take you away. Cannot take away your salvation. Praise be to God. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. That is why whatever sets you today as the member of the body of Christ, apart from any other Christian, it is a, your unnatural response. Glory in tribulation. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Others have been told to endure to the end. And it is Jesus who told them. So if you take the gospel of Matthew and bring here, I will be doing you a great disservice. Praise be to God. The audience have changed. You have to understand, it is not you that have been told to endure and to the end you shall be saved. No. But Paul is telling you, please, glory in your tribulations. Praise be to God. Amen. That is why the things Paul endured, hallelujah, the things Paul went through, yet that man never changed his gospel, never changed his message. Praise be to God. Because as a man, through the things that he endured, day in, day out, he could have changed the message. He could have changed the gospel. Praise be to God. But the vision was clear before Paul. And I want to tell you when we understand what God has done for us, let our vision be clear. Praise be to God. Amen. The things that will come, God took the children of Israel from the land of Egypt. His destination was to take them to the land of Canaan. Praise be to God. Amen. Did he bring them to the land? Yes. Praise be to God. Amen. Did they have trouble on the way? Yes. But God's purpose was to bring them to the land of Canaan. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. So I want to tell you, the things that will come your way, they are not to come to make you a sinful brother, a sinful sister. No, it's not because you are a sinner, but it is God. Praise be to God. Amen. Pressing out the wine from you. Praise be to God. Amen. Am I preaching to vessels that are carrying wine? Praise be to God. Amen. Do you understand the process by which that wine will come forth from you? Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. It is through tribulations. Hallelujah. Because many times we've run away, we've complained, we've murmured. Hallelujah. Amen. But we have, we have to understand the Christian walk, it is, it is something that is supposed to be glorious. Praise be to God. Amen. It is a walk that is supposed to be a glorious walk. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Yeah. Because I told you it is not the tribulation that will come to the children of Israel that is prophetic. No. Because Paul tells us in Romans 8, 18. For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Paul talks about the present suffering. Not that we, that will come. That one is to Israel. But he's talking about the present suffering. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. When you are waking up, you are moody. You don't, want, you don't want any disturbance. You don't know where your school fees will come from. But God wants you to put him, to believe in him that God is faithful. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Whatever situations come before you, God wants you to take it and place it on his office of faithfulness. Praise be to God. Amen. Because the Bible tells us, even when we are faithless, Amen. he remains faithful. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That is why when you come to the book of Philippians, you'll understand. Paul telling them, he who began a good work in you, he'll bring it to what? To completion. Praise be to God. Amen. 
God does not begin our process and then he abandons it. No. God is a faithful God. Hallelujah. God is a gentleman. He does not change. He's not a man that he can lie. No. God will bring, bring it to a completion. Praise be to God. But I'm talking about the present suffering. Present. Praise be to God. Tribulations. Ben. Being pressed. Either way you are pressed. Outside you are pressed. Praise be to God. But God is telling us, hold on. Praise be to God. Hold on. Hallelujah. Because God is what? God is faithful. Praise be to God. Amen. And I want to tell you, we not only glory, praise be to God. You know, many men glory in their strength. But we are not glorying, <laughs> praise be to God. Amen. Men want to brag, want to boast about their strength. You see, I can do this. You see, I am able to achieve this. But you as the body of Christ, where is your glory? You are glorying in your weakness. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. You are glorying in your weakness. Turn with me to the Second Corinthians 11. I told you we shall do a lot of reference to the book of Second Corinthians. Hallelujah. Yeah. It's such a rich book. Praise be to God. Amen. Yeah. Verse 30. This is the place where we read last Sunday with the verse that the degrees are Bema City. Hallelujah. Because verse, 6, verse 28 says, Beside those things that are without, that which cometh upon me daily, the care of all the churches. Things that came to Paul when? Daily. <laughs> Praise be to God. Amen. How we come to that place where on a day-to-day -day basis, things come upon us. That is Paul for you. Praise be to God. Amen. On a day-to-day -day basis, things came upon Paul. The care of the churches. Praise be to God. Amen. He says, who is weak? Am I I am not weak. Who is offended? And I burn not. Verse 30. If I must need glory, I will glory in the things which concerns my infirmities. Praise be to God. Because many times we want to boast about the things that are not concerning our weakness, our shortcomings. But Paul is telling us, if it is to glory, he will glory. He will brag about his infirmities. Praise be to God. That is the Christian life for you, praise, praise be to God. Amen. That is the Christian life for you, brothers and sisters, hallelujah. Amen. That if I must need a glory, I will glory of the things which concern my infirmities. The God, then look at verse chapter 12, from verse 8. He says this. From verse 1. Okay. Where I left. Verse 30. If I must need glory, I will glory of the things which concerns my infirmities. The God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is blessed forevermore, knoweth that I lie not. Praise be to God. Amen. In Damascus, the governor under Aretas, the king kept the city of Damascenes with a great garrison, desirous to apprehend me. Praise be to God. Amen. To be arrested. Hallelujah. Look at what happened. And through a window in a basket, I was let down by the wall and escaped his hands. That is poor for you people. Praise be to God. Amen. Chapter 12. It is not expedient for me doubtless to glory. I will come to visions and revelations of the Lord. Hallelujah. I knew a man in Christ about 14 years ago. Could you read from NLT? NLT. Yeah, it will do us a great service. Praise be to God. This boasting will do no good, but I must go on. I will reluctantly tell about visions and revelations from the Lord. I was caught up to the third heaven 14 years ago. That is Paul for you. So, the thing that Paul comes to narrate to us about the third heaven, it is something that he stayed with for 14 years. Praise be to God. <laughs> Fully revealed, but this man keeps it under up for 14 years. Yako in a shuka sai, kesho mesema. But Paulo, 14 straight years. And this 14 straight years, it was not minus the sufferings. On a daily basis, this man faced death because death to him was imminent. Yeah, that's right. Praise be to God. Amen. Beatings to him was imminent. Praise be to God. He says, 14 years ago, verse 2, I was caught up to the third heaven 14 years ago. Whether I was in my body or out of my body, I do not know. Only God knows. Yes, only God knows whether I was in my body or outside my body. But I do know that I was caught up to a paradise, to paradise, and had things so 
so outstanding that they cannot be expressed in words. Things no human is allowed to tell. That experience is worthy boasting about. Those are the things Paul is talking about. That experience is worthy doing what? Boasting about. Hallelujah. But I am not going to do it. I will boast only about my weaknesses. <laughs> Praise be to God. That is the contradiction and the point for you people. That Paul is saying that you see that that one can be a great move. This could be a great move in the life of Paul. But Paul says, I'm not going to glory about this. I want to glory to boast about my weakness. Not how I saw the seven visions. No. This is not important to Paul. This is how Paul looks at the gospel of God. Let me glory. Let me boast about my weakness. Amen. How many of us? Hallelujah. We try to suppress our weaknesses. We keep them under wrap. We don't want to be exposed. But Paul is telling us that I'm not going to boast about my strength. I'm not going to boast about my revelations and visions. But I'm going to boast about my weakness. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. If I wanted to boast, I would be no fool in doing so. Because I would be telling the truth. That's right. Praise be to God. Yeah. But I won't do it. Because I, do, I don't want anyone to give me credit beyond what they see in my life. Or here in my message. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. This one, Paul is saying this. I, praise be to God. Amen. If I wanted to post, I will be no, I will be no fool in doing so. Because I'll be telling the truth. But I don't want, I, I won't do it. Because I don't want anyone to give me credit beyond what they can see in my life. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Amen. Look at how Paul is challenging us. Glorying in the grace of God. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. This is a rich, riches of God's grace. Paul is telling us, I don't want to glory about these things. Because if I tell them, I will be telling the truth. But I don't want you to think of me beyond or above what I should be think, thought of. Amen. Praise be to God. That, oh, so that I don't be exalted above measure. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Paul is not talking about that. Because Paul is saying, I don't want to boast about my achievements. I don't want to boast about, I did this, I did this, I've got this, I've got this. This is not what Paul is talking about. Paul is talking about his weaknesses. Those are the things Paul is desiring to brag about. Amen. Praise be to God. Yeah. But many times we want to brag about my achievement. Your strength. <laughs> Your strength. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. We'll come to it later when you go to the book of Philippians. You will understand when Paul says he counted everything down for the excellency that is in Christ Jesus. Praise be to God. That is Paul for you people. Praise be to God. A man that could not glory in his achievement. But he says, let me glory in my weaknesses. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Yeah. That I don't want anyone to give me credit beyond what they can see in my life or hear in my message. Even though I have received such wonderful revelations from God. So, so to keep me from becoming proud, I was given a thorn in my flesh, a messenger from Satan, to torment me and to keep me from becoming proud. <laughs> a thorn in the flesh, a messenger of Satan, to, you, to humble you, praise be to God, to, be, to perfect you, because this is something that is in your flesh. This is not something that you can put aside. Praise be to God. Amen. This is something that is part and parcel of you. Amen. Something that you cannot set aside and say, tomorrow I'll come and pick you. No. He says, a thorn in my flesh. So it was something that was active. Mm. Something that was active, not there. Praise be to God. Amen. Ben. Yes. Something that you wish God, can you take away this from me? And the same Paul, he goes on, he says, three different times I begged the Lord to take it away. Each time he said, my grace is all you need. Amen. <laughs> Praise be to God. Amen. That my grace is all you need. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. That Paul, you want me to take this away? No, it is my grace that is all you need. Amen. And my grace has not been withheld from you. I have given you my grace. Praise be to God. Amen. Paul, you want me to take away this pain so that you can be exalted? So that men can think you higher than they ought to think about you? Uh -huh. Paul, this one, I know you.
Because God knows all of us. Praise be to God. I want to tell you, what is that thing? What is that thing that you've told God? God, this one, take it away. And it's not going away. And you're still growing. What is it? Amen. My grace is all you need. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. My grace is all you need. Amen. Despite your suffering. Joseph, Amen. despite your pain. Glory. Praise be to God. Amen. That you are glory. Amen. I'm rejoicing night and day. For the comfort that does what? Abides. Praise be to God. Amen. Where the people will glory in their weaknesses. Where the people will glory in their shortcomings. That those are the people Paul came to. This message is not intended for super people. This message is intended for weaklings. Praise be to God. The gospel of grace is intended for people who are weak. Praise be to God. Weaklings, people who, can, who are not sufficient in themselves. Praise be to God. Paul, God is asking Paul, do you want me to take away this pain? You'll be attacked. Praise be to God. You become a proud man. And that is why I have kept you in check. You are a vessel to me. I, I am saving you from the trouble that is to come with a pride. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. With the upliftings, with the revelations and visions. Praise be to God. God gave Paul a thorn in the flesh to keep this man humble. Praise be to God. What is it? What is it that God Adam until you pray, God take it away. Mungu anakuambia bado. Hii nikitoa mimi najua wewe. Kwanza itaamsha vitu ya uko. Praise be to God. Kwanza ya uluya. You know, luya 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 is a very proud people, si ndio be? Yeah, wanachanganya kiluya na kiingereza. In fact kwa wewe, those are luya for you people. Very proud people, praise be to God. But Mungu anasema I want to save you from I want to save you from this because if I take it away, I know you are a beast. The devil will attack you and you have no place to hide. Praise be to God. I don't want to lose you. I'm keeping you in check. I'm protecting you. Praise be to God. Amen. Praise be to God. Because God knows the end from the beginning. His word is forever settled in heaven. There is, God is not developing new thoughts. God knows he's the all-knowing God. He knows your end from your beginning. Before even you began, God knows your temperament. He knows the kind of person you are. That is why there are things God will not take away from your life. No matter how you pray, they will forever remain because God is keeping you safe by those things. Praise be to God. God is keeping you safe by the trials, by the tribulations, by the pain in your flesh. Praise be to God. And you see, God gave Paul a thorn in his flesh. Not in his spirit. <laughs> Praise be to God. Not in his soul. But where? In the flesh. Yeah. Praise be to God. So God, God has to keep it in check. Praise be to God. The body will be the last thing God will save on this earth. When he comes for our rapture, this is when this beast will be overcome. Amen. There is no salvation in the flesh. There is no salvation in this. This is a beast. This is a beast that needs to be subdued. That is why Paul tells us he had to beat it. He had to beat his flesh. He had to punch it so that he can run according to the instru instructions. Otherwise, if you don't punch this, otherwise, if you don't modify, yeah, that is when we talk about doing what? Modify. Keep this, reckon this beast dead. Otherwise, if you allow this man to hang around still surviving, you, he can do havoc to you. Praise be to God. Amen. But Paul was given a message of Satan in flesh to keep him humble. Praise be to God. Amen. God told him three different times I begged the Lord to take it away. Each time he said, my grace is all you need. My power works best in weakness. Amen. Can you give God a hallelujah? Amen. That God's power works best Amen. in your weakness. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise be to God. And how we hate weakness. But God tells us his power works best in weakness. Amen. Just give Jesus a hand clap. Amen. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. Amen. That God's power working best in your weakness, Paul, I don't understand. 
Paul hii injili ni ngumu. No wonder Peter said these things. The things that Paul is preaching are hard things to understand. This is one of them. How? Because you see the children of Israel, God had given them that he will give them even peace in their land. Praise be God. That when they call upon him, he will come and he will thunder from heaven. He will thunder upon the enemies. But to come and tell me that God's power works best in my weakness, Paul, I don't understand this. Praise be God. Peter said, no, let us, let us, brothers, let us give this man a right hand of fellowship. Let him go to the uncircumcised and we to the circumcised. Because this gospel, this one I can't preach. This is not the God I know. Praise be God. The God that I know is a God when you provoke him, he opens the earth and he has to swallow people. Yes. Dathan, Kor, and Abiram. Praise be God. The God that I know is the one that he thunders from his nostrils comes smoke. That is the God I know. He works in power. But the one in weakness, Paul, please, just go to the uncircumcised. And let me, let us remain with the circumcised. Praise be to God. Amen. Let us remain with the gospel of the kingdom and please, go preaching the gospel of the grace of God. God be with you. God bless you. Praise be to God. Amen. This is where they parted. Because Peter, they could not understand how God's power is meant strength in weakness. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Do we understand glory in tribulation? Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Do we understand glory in tribulation? Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. He says, I'm glad to boast about my weaknesses so that the power of Christ can work through me. Amen. That you glory in your weaknesses so that the power of Christ can work through you. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. That is why I take pleasure in my weakness. Taking place in your weakness <laughs> Praise be to God. Imagine a man taking pleasure in his weakness. Do you remember in Genesis when God came to Abraham and Sarah? Sarah said, Shall I have pleasure again with my husband? Yes, that is the language Paul is saying here. I take pleasure. <laughs> I feel so nice. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Remember the story Pastor told us when hyena finds a dead lion. They roll upon Acknowledge they are defeated. Praise be to God. Yeah. People acknowledge you 
without you, God, I am nothing. Praise be to God. Amen. In your trials, in your persecution, in your insults, insults will come. Even from your husband, from your wife, from your children. But the Bible tells us, Paul was glorying in tribulations. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. God is seeking for vessels that are vulnerable. Praise be to God. No strong vessels. No people are strong. Because when Paul tells us we have got this hidden treasure in an earthen vessel. Do you know how vulnerable an earthen vessel is? It is fragile. It can break every time. But yet, there is the place. God could have taken a pot and make, made it out of diamond. But he chose an earthen vessel. Something that is fragile. Something that is weak. But he says, we have got this hidden treasure. Praise be to God. Where? In earthen vessel. Praise be to God. When you feel you are vulnerable, when you feel this one, I can't make it. God, unless something happens, I am done. I'm hard. I'm pressed between a rock and a hard place. That is when his power is at best. Praise be to God. When you recognize this one, I can't move any further. Those are the people God is seeking. But as long as you are still kicking, you are still surviving, you are still giving explanation, God stands afar. He said, this one is not ready. Praise be to God. Because Paul realized, in my weakness, then is the power of God made strong. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. And I told you, for you to glory, you have to understand that there is faith. Hallelujah. Amen. There are things you have to understand about God. That you have to understand that God has saved me. I have been redeemed. Praise be to God. Because you have to know scriptures. Because it is the scripture that will comfort you. In the scripture that will encourage you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Turn with me to Romans chapter Romans chapter 15. Verse 4. I'm, I'm almost finished. Praise be to God. Amen. So stay with me. Let me warn you. Unless I learn, na wengine kama baru muna tembea kwa ndege. Unajua ndege before it lands. Muna tangaziwa kwamba. Go back your seat and fasten your seat belts. So be. <laughs> Praise be to God. Ndege neza shuka kama baru na wangama. Praise be to God. Be, 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 watch with me a little while. Hallelujah. Romans 15, 4. Hallelujah. For whatsoever things were written at all time were written for our learning. That we through the patience and comfort of the scriptures we might have hope. Praise be to God. Amen. You have to know your word well. You have to know your Bible well. Praise be to God. Amen. Because when you go to the book of Psalms, Psalms 119, book, same. 119 verse 7, the Bible tells us. David said, it was good for me that I was afflicted. That was, that was David for you. That he says, I will, it was good for me that I was afflicted. Verse 71, he says, it is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I might learn thy statutes. That was David for you. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. When you talk, look at Job, Job 13, 15, he says, though he slays me, yet will I trust in him. But I will maintain my own ways before him. That though God slays me, I will still trust in him. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. How many people can say this? Though he slays me, though he takes whatever, whatever belongs to him, that God comes and takes it away. But Job is saying, though he slays me, but I will still trust in him. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. He understands. Job understood that I'm not going through this as a sinner. No. Job was not a sinner. Praise be to God. Amen. It's not that Job was a secret sinner. No. That is not what I'm, what I'm trying to present to you people. But I'm presenting this to you to a people who have got enlightenment. Whose eyes of understanding have been enlightened. To know that I am that God wants me to glory in this because I have been saved. I have got eternal life. Amen. That as far as my standing before God is concerned Amen. it is something that is secure. Something that is forever settled. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Through the comfort of the scripture that we might have hope. Now the God of patience and consolation grant to you like-minded one towards another according to Christ Jesus. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Turn to Colossians. Colossians 1. Colossians. Hallelujah. Just give Jesus a hand clap. <laughs> Colossians 1. Are you there? Yeah. If you are there, say Amen. 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 Yeah, Colossians 1 9 to 11. For this cause we also, since the day we had it, 
do not cease to pray for you and to desire that he might be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Praise be to God. That he might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. Praise be to God. Amen. Verse 11. Strengthened with all might according to his glorious power unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness. <laughs> Praise be to God. Praise be to God. Amen. Strengthened with all might according to his glorious power unto all patience and long suffering with the joyfulness. Praise be to God. Amen. Giving thanks unto the Father which has made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the sins in light. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 13 he says, Who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. Praise be to God. People understand that God has translated you from power of darkness. But you have been translated into the kingdom of his dear son. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When you have got that understanding, praise be to God. I want to tell you nothing will shake you. You will glory in your tribulations. Praise be to God. Amen. You will know that God is faithful. Who made the promise? He is able to keep it. Hallelujah. He is able to see you through. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Ephesians 1. Ephesians 1, 3. What does it say? Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. Praise be to God. According as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. Praise be to God. Amen. That we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Praise be to God. When someone has got this understanding, when pressure comes, when pain comes, you go through it joyfully. Praise be to God. You go through it joyfully knowing that God, in my weakness, then is your power made strong. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. And at the end of the day, you have to have hope in what God has done for you. Praise be to God. Amen. Turn with me to Philippians 1. And that is where, by the grace of God, will be ending. Praise be to God. <laughs> Philippians 1. <clears throat> Philippians 1 verse 20. It says this. According to my earnest expectation and my hope that in nothing I shall be ashamed, but that with all boldness as always, so now also Christ shall be magnified in my body, whether it be by life or by death. <laughs> Praise be to God. What is Paul saying? If I die, even in my death, Christ shall be glorified, shall be magnified. Praise be to God. Even in my life, he has been magnified. Hallelujah. Verse 21. For to me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. But if I live, but if I live in the flesh, this is the fruit of my labor. Yet I shall choose to what not, for I am in strait betwixt two. For I am in a strait betwixt, betwixt two, having a desire to depart and to be with Christ, which is far better. And now listen. Kuenda na kurudi, kubaki, gani mzu? mzu? That is a man that he knows that I've been glorying in tribulations. Praise be to God. Amen. That in my weakness, then the power of God has been made perfect. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. He says this. Nevertheless, to abide in flesh is more needful for you. And having this confidence, I know that I shall abide and continue with you all for your fatherings and joy of faith. Yes. Thank you, Pastor. God bless you. Yeah, from verse 20, he says this. For I fully expect and hope that I will never be ashamed, but that I will continue to be bold for Christ as I have been in the past. And I trust that my life will bring honor to Christ. <laughs> Praise be to God. Are we talking about when we get to heaven, at the Bema seat, we receive rewards? This is how confident Paul was. He knows that his life 
has brought honor to Christ. Praise be to God. Whether I live or I die, for to me, living means living for Christ. That is it. That's what I meant to him. <laughs> living means living for Christ. And dying even is better. Is even better. <laughs> Praise be to God. Living means living for Christ. And if it, it means dying, it is even better I die. Because I know I have run the race, I've kept the faith. Praise be to God. I've run my course well. Praise be to God. Amen. For me to live, for, for to me, living means living for Christ and dying is even better. But if I live, I can do more fruitful work for Christ. So I really don't know which is better. I'm torn between two distress, desires. I long to go and be with Christ, which will be far better for me. But for your sake, it is better that I continue to live. Mm. <laughs> Has it sunk well? Yeah? Paul is saying, it, is, it was better for him to go. Because he knows he has accomplished what he was purposed to do. Praise be to God. Amen. But he says, because of you, let me abide in the flesh. And that man is choosing to remain in flesh for our sake. But he knows in this flesh, there is tribulation. <laughs> Not that trials have been taken away. No. Persecution will come. Pain will come. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But he chose to abide. Praise be to God. Amen. Which is greater? Praise be to God. Amen. That is Paul for you. Knowing this, I am convinced that I will remain alive so I can continue to help all of you grow and experience the joy of your faith. Amen. <laughs> Praise be to God. That he chose to remain. Why? So that he can help all of us, Amen. including me. I don't know about you. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. He can help all of us. Knowing this, I am convinced that I will remain alive so I can continue to help all of you grow and experience the joy of your faith. And the, joy of our faith. the joy of your faith. Amen. Paul remain in flesh so that you can enjoy the joy of your faith. Not any other joy, but the joy of your faith. Mm. The joy of your salvation <laughs> love the joy of your faith. Amen. But, you mm -hmm. Rightly dividing the word of truth. The joy of your faith. Praise be to God. Amen. Paul said, I'm going to abide. And when I come to you again, you will have even more reason to take pride in Christ Jesus because of what he's doing through me. Praise be to God. Amen. Not when I come, you take pride in me, no. But you take pride in Jesus Christ of the things he's doing through me. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Just give Jesus a hand clap. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Look at verse, verse 28. He says this. I left that one out. He says, verse 27. Only let your conversation be as it becometh the gospel of Christ. That whether I come and see you or else be absent, I may hear of your affairs that ye stand fast in one spirit, which with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel, and having and in nothing terrified by your adversaries, which is to them an evident token of perdition, but to you of salvation, that of that of God. For unto you it is given to in, in the behalf of Christ, not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his sake. <laughs> yeah? Also unto you it is given for you to suffer for his what? For his sake. Hallelujah. Amen. Am I preaching to people with glory in whatever trials and tribulations will come before them? Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, and you have to know there is a better future. Hallelujah. Amen. Because you have to understand that all these things are not just coming to dampen our faith, but they are coming to strengthen us. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. They say for a tree to send down the 
roots down deep. They are blessed with God. It's because of the wind. The trees that are in a desert and empty places, they take their roots far away because of the constant blowing of the wind. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So I want to tell you, when these things come, I know your faith is being grounded. Hallelujah. Amen. Your trust, your confidence is in Jesus Christ. There is our hope that I know these things will, won't, won't take me away. Praise be to God. Amen. But they want the, the afflictions. Then nothing will separate me from the love of God Amen. that is in Christ Jesus. Praise be to God. Amen. You trust him more and more. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Even when you lose our loved ones, let us not mourn like them that are hopeless. That is what Paul tells in the book of Thessalonians 4.13. And he talks about that for the Lord, that they that die in Christ, that when he comes, he'll come. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Paul through the cover of the scripture. Paul is encouraging these people. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Then you have to know Jesus is the power of his resurrection. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. You have to understand him in the power of his resurrection. As I wind up, let me wind up with this scripture. Or before I, before I last, <laughs> if there is such a language, before I do what? Before I last, last, <laughs> praise be to God. Do you see why you are such a natural people? That you shout, you don't know where to get out of the tribulation, to get out of the fix. But in the midst of the fix, you are raising up your hands and giving God all the praise. Praise, Amen. hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. That Paul is, you glory knowing that there is a hope for me. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. That he who began a work in me will bring it to completion. Praise be to God. Amen. That I'm not going through this as a sinner. I'm not a sinner, but I have been saved. Praise be to God. Amen. I've been justified. I've been sanctified. Hallelujah. Amen. That God has got nothing against me. That I've got peace with God. I'm not going through this because there is an enmity. Because an enmity was paid. Hallelujah. It was settled. Hallelujah. Amen. The thing that set me apart was taken away. The sin question that I could not approach the presence of God has been settled. Hallelujah. Amen. That is why in the midst of it, you are raising your hands and shouting glory to God. Praise be to God. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Do, you know, do you now understand the secret job here? When he was told this, when he was told everything, Paul, Job, what did he say? Naked I came, and naked will I go. Praise be to God. Amen. He never cast. <laughs> when he was complaining, God came down and told Job, you know what God did? God never came and focused on the trouble that Job was going through. God asked Job, when I was, where were you when I laid the foundation of the world? But, what was the foundation of the world? What will you ask him? Where are you? Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. And you have to understand the mind of Christ. Why? Why should I glory? For you to glory in tribulation, you have to understand the mind of Christ. Praise be to God. Amen. Turn with me to Philippians 3. Philippians 3 verse 8. Verse 7. But what things were gained to me, those I counted loss for Christ. Yeah, doubtless I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, not some things. Paul says, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but done that I may win Christ. And I be found in him, not having mine own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith. Praise be to God. That I may know him and, and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings, being made conformable unto his death. If by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead. Not as though I had already attained, either were, either were already perfect, but I follow after if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended for Christ Jesus. Praise be to God. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Colossians, the same, Colossians chapter 4, verse 6 and 9, then we, 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 we give it, we call it a day. Praise be to God. 
verse 6 and 9 says this. Colossians 4. No, Philippians, I mean. Philippians 4, 6, 9. It says this, verse 5. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. Praise be to God. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God which passes all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are honest, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there be any virtue if there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do. And the God of peace shall be with you. Praise be to God. Amen. Praise be to God. We will say that God has given us soda. Soda kupa. Praise be to God. Simu pigie makofi. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. He said this. Now I appeal, no, verse 4 says this. Always be full of joy in the Lord. I say it again, rejoice. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Let everyone see that you are considerate in all you do. Praise be to God. That is Paul's final admonition. Hallelujah. Amen. Let everyone see that you are considerate in all you do. Remember the Lord is coming soon. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Uh -huh. Pray about eh? everything. everything. Praise be to God. Paul amesema kuna ingine wate. Including sickness. Pray about Amen. everything. Amen. <laughs> Tell God that you need. Tell God what you need. Yes. Tell him what you need. Tell him what you Amen. need. Amen. 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 Praise be to God. That tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Thank Him for all He has done. Yani, ambia mungu mina itaji hi, na asante kwa hi, na asante kwa hi, na asante kwa hi, ile ambayo usafani. Praise be to God. This is Paul. Praise be to God. Do you see why it was necessary for him to remain in flesh? Otherwise, I'm going to Praise be to God. Amen. That tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Amen. Then you will experience God's peace. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> uh -uh. Yeah. Peace in Akuja. God's peace. Do you know how it comes? You tell Him what you need and then you thank Him for all that He has done. done. And the peace comes. Then peace. God's peace, which exceeds anything. Will praise be to God. Amen. Then the peace that exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. And the minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Amen. Now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Amen. Fix your thoughts on what is true yes. and honorable Amen. and right and pure and lovely Amen. and admirable. Fix your mind on what is admirable. Think about these things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Keep putting into practice all you, you learned and received from me. Everything you heard from me and saw me doing. Then the God of peace will be with you. Praise be to God. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He says this. How I praise the Lord that you are concerned about me again. I know you have always been concerned for me, but you don't have the chance to help me. Praise be to God. But you don't have the chance to do what? To help me. Not that I was ever in need, for I have learned how to be content with whatever I have. <laughs> Contentment. Praise be to God. So he had learned to be content with what he had. I know how to live in almost nothing. 
wakati uko between you and your riches and your poverty is only ten bob Paul anasema hapo unaridhika na hiyo praise be to god you be content with that praise be to god and he says this listen not that i was ever in need for i have learned how to be content with whatever i have i know how to live on almost nothing what it means to live on almost nothing praise be to god amen unajua the woman of seven seven eh ule wa naija mwenye alikuwa amebakisha kidogo na akufe eh unga kidogo na mnai akamwambia naija hii imebaki kidogo i bake a cake for me and my son and we die you know he could be a good student of Paul but the problem is he was under the prophetic program praise be to god he says i have learned i know how to live on almost nothing or with everything praise be to god amen i have learned the secret of living in every situation whether it is with full stomach or empty with plenty or little for i can do everything do you understand do, you, do we now understand the concept of saying i can do all things through christ who strengthens me you have to understand the context where Paul is coming from. You know many times we've quoted that scripture out of context. But he says this, listen. <laughs> Praise be to God. I love this. Praise be to God. That I know how to live on almost nothing or with everything. I have learned the secret of living in every situation. Whether it is with a full stomach or empty. With a plenty or little. For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Those are the things. <laughs> Those are the things. That is the category. <laughs> Praise be to God. That is the qualification. Do we qualify? Amen. <laughs> Think on these things. Praise be to God. Amen. Yani, nja, it was almost. It is certain. Praise be to God. But he says, I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Even so you have done well share with me in present difficulty. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. That is Paul. Praise be to God. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. God bless you. That is Paul. Glory in tribulation. Praise be to God. That is an attribute of God's riches of grace. To glory in tribulation. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That when death is imminent, praise be to God. Because Paul, there is a place. I don't know. I don't know if I get the scripture. It is in the book of 2 Corinthians. It says this. 2 Corinthians. Yeah. Yes. 2 Corinthians 4. 5 to 7. It says this. says this. Let me begin with verse 3. But if our gospel is be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. In whom the God of this world has blinded their minds of them which believe not. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, shall shine unto them. For we preach not ourselves. Praise be to God. Every minister doesn't preach about himself but of Christ. Hallelujah. But Christ Jesus the Lord ourselves, your servants for Jesus' sake. For God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness has shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. From verse 8, says this. But we have this treasure in earthen vessel that the excellency of the power may be of God and not us. Hallelujah. We are troubled on every side yet not distressed. Hallelujah. Amen. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body of the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. Praise be to God. Amen. For we which live are always delivered unto death for Jesus' sake that the life also of Jesus 
might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. So then death worketh in us, but life in you. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. That's, that is Paul talking about glory in tribulations. Praise be to God. Amen. Have you understood to glory in tribulation? Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. That it is one of the riches of God's grace. That we can't run away. That I will not stand here and promise you tribulations won't come. Paul tells us it is, it has, it is something that has been appointed. But when you declare that you are believing in the finished work of our Lord Jesus Christ, you know the battle has begun. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. You will suffer luck. You will suffer one. Praise be to God. There is a place where Paul tell, tell, says that, that the scripture where we read that within <laughs> praise be to God. He was troubled. Outside he was troubled. There was no place. His body could not find rest. But Paul still stood and preached the gospel. Praise be to God. Regardless of the trials, regardless of the challenges, he went through. But Paul still gloried in the tribulations. Praise be to God. Why? It was easy for Paul to go. But he chose to remain. So that you can enjoy. Praise be to God. You can understand why it, what it means to glory in the tribulations. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. That, let me just quote this scripture where in the book of Psalms 105, the story about Joseph. Psalms 105, I think it is verse 17 to 19, says this. Until his word came, the Bible tells us the word of God tried him. Okay? Yeah. Talking about Joseph. Until his word came, the word of God did what? tried him. You want to tell me the word of the wife of Potiphar, it was the word of God trying him? Yes. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us stand up. Just give Jesus a hand clap. There is this song, Kwa Mfano Wako, Tabu Za Nyimbo Za Njili, Nyimbo Namba is it 29? Kwa mfano wako Kwa mfano wako Kwa mfano wako 